going on YouTube? Got a review here for you and this is the Maglite MagTech LED rechargeable system. Uh, it's as you can see here 543 lumens and let's take a look at what you get in the box. You get the flashlight, a charging base, a micro USB charging cable, a AC wall adapter, a DC car adapter, this is uh, this little thing here is a tool that you use to get the battery out. That's a tool to tighten the uh, pocket clip as it is not installed when you receive it. And a screw, um, that way you can mount the base somewhere. So let's go ahead and pop it open. <clears throat> I have been using this, uh, so that way I can give you guys an idea how I like it. So here's what you're presented with when you open the box. You see the MagTech LED professional flashlight. Um, this is like a uh, tactical style flashlight. And inside the box, you would normally have the charging base here. Um, on this side, you would have the uh, USB cable. You would have the uh, yeah, the AC wall adapter, the pocket clip. Um, here's where the flashlight would sit. And here's your tool to remove the battery. It's kind of got a shape in it. And I'll show you that on the battery here in a minute. Um, just a simple wood screw to mount the base if you'd like. And here's your uh, DC adapter, you know, that plugs in your cigarette lighter in your car. USB. So, um, same thing with the AC adapter. It's uh, USB. <clears throat> I'm going to go over a couple pros, then I'm going to hit some cons. I'm going to wrap up with some pros. So, first pro is that you can see here the uh, charging base uses a micro USB charging cable, uh, something similar to you find in. A lot of devices mainly you know tons of Android devices unfortunately the uh, Apple like iPhones iPads things like that do not use a micro USB but I think a lot of us have uh, some of these laying around so that's definitely a positive comes with a uh, micro USB standard or USB to micro USB charging cable um, it's about three foot about three foot long so not real long but long enough to probably get you to some most chargers where you're gonna have your uh, base mounted whether it be on the counter on a workbench things like that um, I really really like the fact that it comes with this charging base comes with the DC and AC charging adapters uh, that way it kind of fits the bill for everybody. There's not too many people that are not going to be around one of those two forms of electricity um, for the most part. Uh, yeah, so go ahead. I'll show you the flashlight here. So here's the flashlight. I do have the pocket clip installed. You can see these two silver rings here make contact to those two silver tabs uh, inside the charging base. The flashlight sits in the, inside the charging base base like so and it does have a little relief cut here to allow you to charge it with the pocket clip um, installed uh, it will not go in any other way obviously um, unless you have the pocket the pocket clip removed so it's kind of got a uh, satin black finish kind of got a knurled end here to allow you to get good grip to remove the the battery cap here you can see kind of a uh, hand grenade style checkering, if you will, knurled front to remove the, the front. Uh, this does have the crowned bezel. It has a polycarbonate uh, lens. You can see the LED there in the center. And it has a recessed push button. None of this will turn the flashlight on around here. There's a little rubber center and that is recessed. I don't know if you can tell here by the by the video, but that is indented. So it's um, 
I've used it with gloves on, doesn't make a difference, um, but it will not, I haven't had it activate yet while it's in my pocket. I've been carrying this in my rear pocket. So, I'm going to hit on a couple negatives. One is, here's a little tool that you use. Um, it looks similar to like a uh, Allen wrench that went in to tighten the clamp, uh, the pocket clip down, and it uses like a cam system, so that rolls out and puts tension between the pocket clip and the body of the flashlight. Right off the bat, I haven't had this flashlight five minutes. I opened it, knew that I wanted the pocket clip so I could wear it in my uh, use in my back pocket, front pocket on occasion. I inserted the tool to tighten up the cam and I gave it ever so slight pressure. Not much at all. And as you can see there, snapped the snap that off clean off right right inside so that's and since then i've had this pocket clip come loose probably a half dozen eight times i've been carrying this pocket uh this flashlight in my pocket for now for about a week uh, i wanted to get a little time with it to give you guys a somewhat accurate evaluation of how i felt about it so that is a disappointment second off as you can see here this has a nice sorry it has a nice taper here, so that way when you're sliding this into your pocket, that will catch. You can, I mean, it's real easy to slide into your pocket. Well, this is sticking up higher than the rest of the body of the flashlight. Yep. You can see there, right there, it's already got a crack in it, or a, you know, a kind of like a stress, a stress line. Not happy. I, you know, this is plastic. This is all plastic. I really wish... Even if it would have meant another five or ten dollars on the price tag for the consumer, I really wish that this mag light would have came with a metal, um, a metal pocket clip. That's just really it's unacceptable for a week for that thing to already be damaged. I'm going to give mag light a mag light a call to see if they'll do anything. Uh, maybe send me another one. Uh, that'd be great if they would. So I'm going to give them a call. I'll try to let you guys know how that works out. But so far, not real happy with, with that being plastic. So let's go over a couple of the basic functions here of the flashlight. Just give you guys kind of a, a once over. The, the, the quality of it seems to be really nice. I mean, it's, I would say, a little above average on the build quality. Um, one thing that... It's minor, but that does that does get a little annoying. Is the battery where the battery cap is? I know you guys can hear that. That thing is, you know, those threads are so squeaky. So let's go ahead and pull that out. You can see it is sealed with an O-ring. The center positive pin is spring loaded. The negative pin or the ground is spring loaded. So that I mean that's a nice feature. Get you a shot of that. And here's the inside of the battery. Now that tool here fits in there and it locks in. And this is a, a locking nut there around the outside that you can see. The center silver part, that's the battery. That actually threads out. You can see in there there's some uh, threads cut into the inside of the body of the flashlight. That, will rem that nut comes out and you can exchange the battery. This flashlight is um, powered by a lithium phosphate battery it's different than the uh, lithium ion batteries it will have uh, more charge cycles it's supposed to hold a charge uh, better than lithium ion uh, but they're kind of struggling right now with the capacity of uh, lithium phosphate batteries so uh, right now you get about two and a half hours of runtime on high and I think it's about four and a quarter hours on low. And we're gonna step into that stuff right now. So right here, with uh, if you press press and hold the, uh, the back button, you have your high beam. If you let go, it goes off. If you double tap your back button, that will leave it on high. Um, before that, it's kind of like a momentary here. It's stuck, um, left on high. Tap it again. It'll turn it off. You tap it three times. One, two, three. 
Then I'll put it into your low beam, which is about 115 lumens, I believe. Tap it again, it'll turn it off. You tap it four times, one, two, three, four, and that puts it into a strobe. And that'd be great for uh, home defense or tactical situations for uh, disorienting um, an assailant or someone trying to come into your house. Um, so like I said, it's 543 lumens on high and uh, low. Like I said, it's about 115. You have your strobe, you have your momentary. Uh, those are kind of the main features that you're looking for. That's kind of the main features you're looking for in a tactical flashlight. Um, here, it once again, it sits in the base. Now this base does have a charging indicator on it, right there off to the side. <clears throat> And that, that will give you a status of where your charge is at and how low your battery is when you put it on the charger. So when you put it on there, you may, be, you may see a blinking red light, which means fault. If you have a solid red light, it means preconditioning, your battery is dead. If you have an orange light that is a fast charge, your battery is low. If you have a blinking green, excuse me, a blinking green light, it is topping off your battery. Means your battery contains a partial charge. Uh, if it is solid green, it's just on maintenance, and your battery is full. Meaning maintenance means that um, it's going to keep your battery at or near 100% for however long it's left on the charger. If there is no flashlight inside the cradle and you take it out, it's going to be uh, solid green, meaning that your charger is in an idle state. <clears throat> so far, um, besides the couple of cons that I had mentioned, I really like this flashlight. It seems to suit the suit the bill. Uh, it is non-focusable, so it, it does have a fixed beam that may be a plus or minus to some of you. I'll go ahead and kind of give you a little bit of a demonstration here. It's a short, uh, short distance. You can see it's got kind of a nice uh, hot spot in the center with a well, uh, it's got a nice flood around it. One, two, three, there's your low. One, two, three, four, and there's your strobe function. Overall, it's a nice flashlight. Uh, the packaging's really nice, comes with a uh, Kind of like some nice foam in there to keep everything protected when it's in shipment and honestly it's it's not bad it's not bad i know there's some stream lights and some uh surefires out there that would definitely rival it but uh for quite a bit more money uh you can pick this up uh, at like a gander mountain that's where i got it for about 125 dollars and for that price for 543 lumen uh, having the momentary high, low, and strobe seems like a pretty good deal, especially with the crown bezel. Um, this is also available in a smooth bezel if you wish, and I think it's like 10 less lumens for whatever reason. Um, so far I found battery life to be good, and the uh, charging dock being able just to simply come home at night or before I go to bed, drop it in there, that's it. I mean, it's it's charging. That's been fantastic, and it charges relatively fast. I haven't had it charge. Uh, I haven't had it dead, but I haven't had it charge for more than 45 minutes to an hour, so that's kind of nice if, you know, you're in between jobs and you want to get a quick charge, you know, you can go ahead and throw it on the charger and, and get that, and you're going to have a good light when you get to your next site. So, overall, fairly happy. I appreciate, appreciate you guys watching. If you liked it, Leave a comment, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.